Batman's legacy is revealed in Earth 2 Society Annual Issue 1. So in this issue we continue the storyline of Dick Grayson finding his son John who is a humanite, a superpowered child of ultra-humanite, uh, a being who's been using these children to assault the society and try and gain the Amazon box, the Amazonian box that Fury brought to the world with her when Earth 2, the original Earth 2, blew up. He wants to use that to sort of reshape the world into his own. Uh, and this issue saw Dick talking with his son, who Helena had brought in after finding him after last issue. Issue, he's sort of talking with his son about what Batman is and like the legacy of Batman whereas in, in this earth Bruce Wayne was Batman and then he died and then his father Thomas Wayne took over and Dick took over from Thomas after Thomas died during Convergence. He's just talking about how he's totally out of his league uh, compared to Bruce and Thomas and even Helena. He mentions Helena a lot since Helena really was his teacher uh, for most part on Earth 2. And he talks about how he's just like a normal person who just, just gets by by the skin of his teeth and relies on like the image of Batman as a way to sort of stop criminals and uh, that's how he sort of, he's been able to get by so far without, you know, relying on skill alone. Whereas Helena is totally skilled and like she can take on some of the even the most powerful people like in this issue she takes on grief who is uh the ultra humanites lead enforcer and most powerful enforcer most powerful humanite and she's able to go toe to toe with him and that's what uh dick is saying like she can do this and she's regarded by people like Green Lantern and Power Girl as someone who is their equal and he's kind of seen as not really like he doesn't think of himself as that but he's he wants to live up to something he wants to make something of his life since he sees this new Earth 2 as sort of a fresh start but now that his son is involved he is kind of suggesting that he might stop becoming Batman because he now has a son to look after and everything and even though his son looks to be about 16 17 he really is actually just six years old because of what the humanite did to him and sort of sped up his growth process he's he still kind of has the mind of a six-year-old a little bit he's got to take care of that and everything at the end of the day he decides he's going to still be batman and his son effectively is going to become his robin since his son still has all his powers and everything and i'm actually really looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with this he designs a new bat costume which is sort of a combination of bruce's thomas's and his he's still got like that coat thing and the um uh, also has like a little bit of uh, black cat sort of influence with the mouthpiece uh, that goes over his nose and under his nose and everything and the suit looks awesome I love this new costume that he's designed and obviously it's kind of more robotic because Dick did lose the use of his legs during convergence so it's like this kind of robotic sleek new armor and it looks it looks sick it looks sick it's absolutely amazing it's all red and black and everything looks awesome I can't wait to see it in action but yeah it, really cool annual I really enjoy this. All the annuals recently have been really great from Marvel and DC. They've been absolutely fantastic. I'm intrigued to see what's going to happen in this one though since now we have effectively a Batman and Robin. I'm intrigued to see what kind of persona John takes whether he keeps the name Fire Pattern or maybe he goes Robin or something. It's going to be intriguing because I don't think there actually was technically a Robin in Earth 2. I don't think he actually had a Robin. I know he, Helena became Huntress and she didn't wasn't a Robin or anything but it's going be really intriguing to see what happens. I'm gonna give this book a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my latest video, hope you enjoyed it. While you're here, why not check out another one of my reviews, like and subscribe my channel for more reviews and videos, and follow me on Twitter at Matt underscore FOS. Thanks guys, and I will see you all next time.